How to use LinkedIn to find your next job. Um, the first thing I want to say on this is it's not that difficult if you're in a specialist field. Where I sort of fall down is I'll reject 90% of the roles that are sent to me because the quoting rates that I last seen in 2000 um, it, it's a problem in my industry at the moment and I'd rather not work in it if they're planning on paying me those sort of rates but people know before they approach me not to waste my time because I'm very blunt on things uh, but the the point is find what your niche is look for the groups and connect with the groups L read through the posts get involved in the posts get active with the groups and you'll start to connect with people that can influence things for example I'm in the FM industry and um, asset surveying maintenance whatever you want to call it because it's all multi uh, tasking well not multitasking multi skilled so I've got connections in FM industry I've got connections in engineering I've got connections in asset management and each one of those is connected to a lot more people but once you start connecting with people and building relationships you will find that it starts to open doors for you it, I've never been out of work since since I was born <laughs> I can't remember the last time I actually struggled to find any work um, the fact is if you're good at what you do you'll you'll connect with somebody that can help you or your reputation procedure LinkedIn's a bit like that once you start connecting with people, even if you don't know them, start off with chatting on their groups, then connecting with them, you'll start to see people starting an interest in your profile. They want to know about you, which is why do your CV, but don't make it bland. Explain what you've done. Put some pictures in there. Put some charity work that you do. Put, you know, make it an interesting biography of such. Um, it doesn't mean that I like stroking cats and I go to the pub at the weekend. That sort of stuff to leave out. But if you're a, I, I help, I, I do fundraising for a local charity uh, every year, blah, blah, blah. Then that's worth putting in. It might be worth putting a couple of photos attaching it, showing, look, this is me doing a marathon run. It, all these things show that you're a person and half the battle is getting away from being a robot a blank piece of paper like if you print off a CV and give it to somebody it, it doesn't have any depth most people get jobs in the first 16 20 seconds because it's that view between you and that person that actually makes the connection what was on that bit of paper often is completely irrelevant it, it's about the the connection you have with the person so if you like rugby, for example, and somebody's going, HR guy's going, oh, this guy does rugby as well. It, even though it's not connected to the actual work itself, you've already got it in here that you do rugby. And it's often those little triggers that can make a big difference in your career. But if you just put your profile up there and go, right, I've done it, and then don't get a job out of it, what do you expect? You need to work it. Connect with all the groups, connect with the right people. Like I said, if you go into the groups, start chatting with the people, get involved in what they're putting up there, discussing whatever it is you do. Say you're a roof tiler and you're discussing different types of uh, roof tiles. You can start with that conversation because it shows you know what you're talking about. Because when somebody says, oh, well, these are non-slip, but you know, you go, oh, but if you, put them on the wrong way they're, they're very slippery because there's nothing actually telling you which way up they should go you know something like that you know it, it just say oh yeah you're right even though it's not a big thing you know and everybody that probably in the industry goes yeah but nobody would make that mistake that's irrelevant the possibility that it could go on upside down connects with a person you've actually done it you've actually seen the tiles not that you put it on upside down but you've actually seen t the tiles work with them etc and it can go into more advanced things. I've had it where somebody's asking me, can they sue their previous contractor because they didn't do a certain task before the contract expired. And I went through and said, okay, well, the legal requirements of this, you can uh, 
prosecute them but it's much easier to go and say look you were supposed to do this before you finished you haven't done it are you going to put it right and nine times out of ten they will come in and sort it out when you go legal instantly the barrier comes up because they're like I, I can't do any right even if I go back and fix it it's an admission of guilt you know it's that sort of thing so get involved and you'll find that the people you're talking to may have the vacancy you're looking for but once they connect with you they now know you that you're not just a profile or a blank canvas you're John the Tyler you're, you're the guy that they've been looking for for the last five years to get somebody up to the standard they want and understands their business and that's why LinkedIn is very important for finding your next job because a lot of these other sites like uh, the monsters.com and all that you're in amongst a load of other people doing exactly the same this has a bigger connection this also puts your influences your um, your little networks into your industry because if I connect with somebody in the FM industry it will connect me with their people that are in the FM industry and you can end up with all these connections that may be five six tiers long you know where the person right down the bottom somewhere you've never met didn't even notice their name sends you an email saying are you interested in looking for a job just because you're in the same networks so that's the importance of LinkedIn when you're looking for a job and I say you have to invest a bit of time on it but if you're not working at the moment you've got the time and personally it's how I would look if I was serious about looking for work is spend a bit of time on LinkedIn connect with people in the same industry etc and you'll they'll let you know whether something but also don't be so pushy on it because it puts people off you know if you say look currently looking for a new work etc what's the worst it can do 